The good news of the day. Around 2 a.m. French time, Quito de Pavon was safely rescued and is on board the Marion Dufresne, a supply vessel of the French Southern and Antarctic lands out on mission. I'm lucky at least this vessel, this crew, was in the area. You have to know they're only in this sector four times a year. It's complicated. I'm a little confused. This is the first time I abandon a boat. I don't bring it back somewhere. It's hard for the morale, for the mind. It's tough for me today. Thoughts going through my head. A little later in the morning came the bad news of the day. Sébastien Joss abandons the race. Weather conditions having improved, he was able to measure the extent of damages on his port side foil and explain it wouldn't be reasonable to go on with a more than half of a world around race. We came close to the ultimate penalty. Could have been even worse if the foil had come off the boat. And today, this appendix, weighing no less than 250 kilos, isn't secure enough. It's not reliable. It has movements I can't control when it touches the water. Here, the sailing spirit and safety must take over. Bringing the boat in isn't the most difficult. To sit and watch the others continue the regatta, that's what's going to hurt. In this week of all dangers, two new competitors express the damages they've suffered. Eric Bellion, a router problem on board Coma Solum, and Thomas Rouillon, who noticed water ingress on board as he was manipulating his ballast device. Alex Thompson is still pursuing Armel Leclerc, who's widened his lead in the last hours. But the Brit has shown signs of fatigue and wants to be cautious. Sleeping's been a bit difficult with the high speeds, big decelerations and accelerations. So I'm a little bit tired. I need to try and catch up, get my beauty sleep in the next few days. I think now is the time for caution for me to make sure nothing happens to me. Make sure I keep the boat in one piece. Obviously now uh, I'm in second place, 100 miles behind the leader, Armel Leclerc. But I'm now uh, over 1,000 miles behind me to third place. So uh, at least I have some breathing space behind so I can worry about looking forwards, which uh, I think is really important. 